In this training webinar, you're going to discover the eight psychic spiritual senses you might have and how they work and how to remove deeply rooted energetic blocks that are secretly stopping you from experiencing more abundance, happiness, peace, and success in your life. First of all, I'm glad that you found this training. You are here for a reason and that reason will become clear to you in a minute. Maybe you're looking to improve certain areas of your life, such as your abundance, relationships, or health, purpose work, or inner peace. Or maybe you've dedicated your life to helping others heal and you're looking for better and faster ways to help people and facilitate healing on a deeper level. Either way, you're at the right place at exactly the right time. What we'll go over today is the invisible thing controlling your life right now. What really goes on in your energetic system is the answer you've been looking for. Where negative energy gets stuck and what to do about it, the eight spiritual senses you might have and how they work, and my proven five-step energy healing and activation process you can use to remove blockages that are sabotaging your success in all areas of life. And you're also gonna learn how to unlock your natural healing abilities in 30 days and much, much more. And if you stay till the end, I have a special gift in store for you, right? So make sure you stay till the end of this training and you're gonna get this video that I released not too long ago called the Rapid Manifestation Video. And this is the video that reveals exactly how I've manifested everything amazing in my life, how I do it fast, how I do it predictably and consistently, and, and it's in all areas, in health, in wealth, in finances, everything. I've used this um, information and I've, I've, I've learned this over 10 years ago and it still works today. And if you stay until the end of this uh, training, you're gonna get this rapid manifestation video absolutely free. All right, so let's talk about one of the most important things that most people ignore, right? So here is a pyramid, very, very fancy one, right, that I created. Um, and it's uh, the very bottom is your current reality. It's the, what you're experiencing right now. And that's um, affected or that's caused by the decisions that you make in your life. And the decisions that you make are caused by your emotions, right? And the emotions are caused by your paradigm, like your, 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 your belief systems. And that paradigm is directly influenced by your identity, who you believe you are. And, uh, and we have... We have this in, uh, in ourselves, um, deeply ingrained, and, and beyond this, like, you know, what's the, the, the thing be behind this is energy. This is the one thing that affects everything, right? And this is one thing to where once, once you work and addressing things at an energetic level, you're working at the root and not the fruit, right? And that's where everything begins. So it's, it's very similar to making one change in it by making that one change in the energetic level, it's like making a thousand different changes. It has that leverage and ripple effect, so we're gonna focus on that. It's energy, okay? It's the invisible thing that controls your entire life. And it can either keep you stuck and happy and unfulfilled, or it can bring you abundance, happiness, success, inner peace, and everything you've truly desired and wanted in life, and more. And here's how energy affects you. As you probably already know, energy affects you more than you realize. This is something that's not news, okay? It's not a new thing. Science has proven it over and over again that everything in our universe is made of the same energy. You know, from the screen that you're looking at right now, to the wall, to your, our bodies, even our cells. Like, you know, they, they, in our DNA, there's what they call 95% of the junk energy or the things that they can't decode and that, that has unlimited or a lot of potential it's all energy it's like they just haven't been able to to um, access it and decode and figure out what it's for but it's untapped potential but within all of us you know is is infinite untapped and powerful energy that we can use to create things that we like or attract things that we don't like right so you're probably asking but you know, how does this apply to me okay rem remember a time when you spoke to someone or encountered someone who was angry stressed anxious or in a bad mood Okay, think about that. What happened afterwards? Chances are you felt it. Maybe in your stomach, maybe in your heart, maybe your head started hurting, maybe your ears started ringing, but it affected you somehow and it doesn't stop there. Sometimes you carry that energy throughout your day and it ends up affecting everything that you do. 
and everyone you encounter, you bring it from one interaction to the next, you bring it home with you, and it has this ripple effect. Now that's just one tiny example of how a complete stranger can affect your life through energy alone. There's somebody you don't even know. Now here's the thing. There's also a lucky and unlucky phenomenon, and you've probably seen this. Have you ever had a lucky day where, where um, everything went right, one after another, almost as if the stars lined up and conspired in your favor? And have you ever had a bad day where everything just went wrong and it just kept on piling up and you just wanted to curl up in a ball and hide from the world? It's not a coincidence. When these things happen, they are controlled by your energy. Right? Your energy is more powerful than your thoughts and your emotions. And it's the invisible thing that controls everything. Okay? And uh, another thing is, it's one of the things that most people don't focus on because they don't see it with their naked eye. It's kind of like an out of sight, out of mind thing. And when you, when your energy and your personal vibration is high, then most obstacles and challenges don't even appear. You skip them. And the ones that do appear, you just magically are able to handle them better. And when your energy and personal vibration is low, then the Pandora's box of negativity, fear, unwanted scenarios come flooding into your life. Even the smallest things tend to bother you. And here are some examples. A few years ago, I dipped in energy. And when I did, within 30 minutes, I had four people reach out to me. These same four people are the ones who normally drag me down energy-wise and train me. Some of them I talk to just a few times per year to keep a healthy boundary. But when I dipped, they all showed up quickly. Why? Because just like a radio station, it uses the concept of frequencies to transmit information. I was using the frequency where all these people existed. So when I went there energy-wise, I chose. They all showed up and they knew how to find me quickly. I was in their radar. And during that hour, you know, I started receiving one piece of bad news after another as well, right? And in the past, if I didn't know about this energy thing, I would have let this continue on for days or weeks or months at a time, which I've had in the past going through dark times to where you're just like, it's a way of being, it's like a the new norm. And I did, if I didn't know how to get myself out of it, right, that, that would have been the case. And uh, then what ended up happening, would, it would affect my thoughts, my emotions, my actions, it affected everything in my life. So when I started realizing this was happening, I made it a priority to master my energy, right? And nowadays, I know within minutes. Worst case scenario, one to two hours, um, when something negative energy is like you know trapped within me, if I'm getting affected by it, and sometimes you become aware right when it happens, and oftentimes you know your logical mind catches it, you know, and um, the two or three negative things that just happen, and that's what makes you aware that you dipped. So it's either you feel it or you catch it by looking back and be like, wow, there's a pattern here, All right? So when everything flows, so here's the thing: when I choose the right vibration and right energy for myself. Miracles happen several times a day. One time my wife was avoiding, a, I'll give you an example. One time my wife was avoiding a conversation and she would, she needed to have with somebody and she dipped into fear, right? And guess what? It's the weirdest thing, the glasses around her kept breaking. Now it's different for everybody. Okay, I don't want to scare you, but it's something that we, you have control over. It's different for everybody. For my wife, she asks for her signs, you know, from God, from the universe and what's for whatever you believe in, right? She asked for signs for her just to be more intense and to be brought into her physical surrounding so that it catches her attention. So she wanted it to happen that way. She got it. And, she, and what ended up happening was when she saw the sign, then she chose a, a higher frequency of self-love, got on the call, she was, you know, she was avoiding. And while she was on the call, weirdly enough, money just kept showing up in her account that she wasn't even expecting out of nowhere. Uh, and this is the power of frequency. Since she went and tapped into the highest frequency, guess what? Abundance found her because it was in that specific frequency. And sometimes when you're in the right frequency, what you desire the most finds its way to you effortlessly. You don't even have to try or logically try to make sense of it. It just gets attracted to you. And you have the physical body, of course, and you also have the energetic body. And it's a very, very complex system. So here's the energetic system, um, a quick overview, okay? The energetic system is vast and extremely complex. Here are some of the basic ones to remember for now. For example, in our physical body, we have physical organs, 
for your energetic body, you have chakras, okay? Chakras, and I'll go over this in a second, affect you more than you know. They affect your emotions, your mood, your experiences, your health, your well-being, your finances, your relationships, say everything in your life is affected by your chakras. Okay, and you also have, in, your, in, your, in our bodies, you have physical toxins, right? That our liver has to detox. And there's also, for our energetic body, energetic toxins that come in internally. Either we create them by choosing them or externally from other people. So physical skin, right? Just like we have physical skin in our body, we also have our energetic skin, which is our aura. And our aura, depending on how sensitive you are, absorbs what it comes in contact with, just like our skin would. And they've had a lot of machines that have they developed throughout the years that are, that are rooted in science that are able to pick up and measure the energetic body, the aura, and can even get very granular to showing what kind of color it is and all that stuff. So all this stuff is available to quantify the unseen that we normally don't see with our eyes unless we have that as a gift. But we're able to quantify this now with science. And we also, as, as we have physical senses, like with, with, our, with our bodies, like, you know, like sight, he, sight, hear, taste, smell, and touch. We also have the eight spiritual and energetic senses, okay? And these are what helps us make sense and decipher the invisible energy that we don't see. It's our eight spiritual senses, which I'm also going to be going over in this video, all right? And most of the biggest pain, and this is one of the things that I, that I had to come to grips with. And when I found this at first, it was sad, but then it was also liberating because I could do something about it. Right? And one of the most biggest pain and struggle people experience is because they don't know how to take care of their energetic body. Just like you take care of your physical, mental, and emotional health, you need to take care of your energetic health. What I've learned is every painful and traumatic experience you've ever had since you were a child had a tremendous energetic impact on you and could potentially still be affecting you and holding you back. Right? It's a compounding effect. And here are some of the problems from stuck, stuck energy. So here's the thing. When you have energy that's stuck, like let's say some traumatic thing happened when you were a child, a breakup or um, a fight or parents abandoning or yelling at you, that leaves an energetic imprint on you and it's there. Unless you know how to remove it, it stays in there. And your problems will keep reoccurring over and over and over again and you won't be able to fully move forward regardless of how hard you try if you have energy blocks in your system. Here's how it happens. Painful experience happens, energy from that initially gets stored in your energetic body, right? And the initial energy that was stored in your body from these painful experiences eventually turned into energetic patterns. Think about this. It's kind of like neurons. Like, you know, have you ever heard the term that uh, neurons are that, that uh, fire together, wire together, and if you do things over and over again with the same amount of intensity, eventually it becomes wired within our, our, our nervous system to where it becomes almost like automatic, and it's the same thing, it becomes a pattern, and it's the same thing, there's energetic neurons. Now once the energy is stored in there, and it's exercised a few times, it, it keeps repeating itself, and that's why sometimes people find themselves from one bad relationship to another, or one like you know bad habit to another, and they can't get out of it, it's because it doesn't matter if they try mentally or emotionally, you know, or brute force. If the problem is invisible, if the problem is energetic, then it doesn't even get addressed, right? So these energetic patterns keep you stuck and cause you to keep re-experiencing the same problem over and over and over again. Unless you're able to remove the deeply rooted energetic blocks that are stuck in your body, sometimes on a deep cellular level, you will be stuck where you are and you won't be able to move forward. I know this from personal experience and from seeing this happen in my loved ones and friends and people that I've been blessed to meet and help all over the world, right? And energy can get trapped, like you know, it can get trapped in your auric field from day-to-day -day living, it can get trapped in your chakras from your own pain or from trauma others inflict on you, it can get trapped in your actual organs from in internal and external sources, it can get um, trapped in the energetic timeline, this is more karmic can get trapped in the DNA and cellular level when it's passed on from ancestors or generational trauma. And again, this is something that's been proven by science as well, is just like genetically, we, we, things are passed down through the genes, trauma is too, and so is energy. It can get passed down from generation to generation. And, and, and a lot of the times I've seen people carry on pain, carry, carry on energetic patterns that 
aren't even theirs. It's from their parents or their parents' parents passed down and they've absorbed it, they've, take, they've taken accountability for it and worse, they think, they think it's theirs instead of it seeing that it's not theirs and there's something, there's something that they can do something about, right? So there's that too. So um, there's a lot of these energetic systems for, for the sake of an example for this training. And let's use the chakras as an example. The chakras, it's one of the hidden energetic systems that flows within our bodies and affects everything in our lives, from career, relationship, inner peace, success, wellness, everything. Okay, chakras affect everything. At the very top, you have your, your crown chakra. Okay, I'm just gonna go over briefly different chakras that you have. Um, and these are the basic ones. There are also some more advanced ones that I'm not gonna list here. Not a lot of people know about, but this one's a very, very basic one. So you have an idea, okay? So the very top is the crown chakra. It has to do with spirituality, intuition, and purpose. Or, so if you're having issues in any of those areas, then most likely there's energetic toxins and blocks in your crown chakra. Next is your third eye chakra. It has to do with absorbing other people's energy and tuning and tuning in to the energetic world. If you are sensitive to other people's energy, then most likely there's energetic toxins and blocks in your third eye chakra that need to be addressed. The throat chakra, this has to do with speaking your truth, with confidence, with communication. So if you are having communication issues, there's most likely energetic toxins and blocks in your throat chakra. Then you have your heart chakra. It has to do with love and self-love. Okay? So if you're having a hard time loving yourself or you keep attracting toxic people into your life, there's most likely energetic toxins and blocks in your heart chakra. Solar plexus chakra. It's also called the power center. It has to do with wisdom, self-esteem, self-worth, personal power. And if you have a hard time standing up for yourself or standing in your power, there's most likely energetic toxins and blocks in your solar plexus chakra. Your root chakra has to do with your career, being grounded, and material abundance. So if you have issues with money, abundance, or staying grounded, there's most likely energetic toxins and blocks in your root chakra. And just like your physical body needs to detox and eliminate waste, so does your energetic body. But problem is, most people don't know how. So they sit with negative and toxic energy most, if not all of their lives, never really experiencing true happiness, abundance, and the depth of amazingness that life has to offer. And it doesn't have to be this way. Hi, my name is Kuya Nino, and people call me the spiritual activator. And it's just me and my family here. It's me, my wife, my son, and our two beautiful dogs over here. All right? And I'm about to show you the eight spiritual senses along with my proven five-step healing process for removing negative energy that's stuck in your energetic body. So you can finally start living a life of abundance, happiness, success, and freedom in all areas of your life. And here's the five steps to healing yourself. First is you gotta be able to activate your spiritual senses. We all have it within us. Sometimes it's dormant, sometimes it's been a while, sometimes we don't know how to use it, but we have to be able to activate it to its full uh, potential in a way that's of love and light. And it's not scary, although there's a lot of fear around activating your spiritual senses, but in reality, it's a beautiful thing. You can have control over it. It can be an amazing thing. It can be used for good. And, you, and when you activate it, it can just be just all the things that, that that bring you what you want in life and are able and you're able to help a lot of people out as well. And, and the, the next step is being able to find your blockages in your energetic body, right? Once you find them, you're either able to cut or disintegrate the blockages, right? And once that's done, you have to be able to remove them from within, and then you're able to refuel with healing, love, and life force energy to bring everything back to what it's supposed to, what's meant to be, right? In your body, your energetic body. So these are the five steps, very, very simple and very powerful for really healing yourself, removing all the negative energy in your body, and coming back into what you were intended to do, like you know, how God created you, like perfect energetically, okay, getting you back in that state. And when you follow these five steps, then your energy will be clear on a consistent basis and your day-to-day -day quality of life will be much better. And the next most important thing after this is your eight spiritual senses, eight psychic senses, okay? And before I reveal that, let me share with you my quick story so you know how this all came about so you have some context for it. And you know what, chances are you probably never heard of me, like Queen Nino, who was that? And it was designed that way. 
because up until now, I've been working underground, away from the public eye and away from attention. And for over 10 years, people from all over the globe have secretly referred to me as the spiritual activator. My name being passed around through whispers in elite closed circles, meaning people strictly through referrals. I never sought people out. They've somehow found me through vibration, frequency, and, and, and energy. They just did. And quite frankly, I enjoyed being behind the scenes. That was one of the things like that I that I loved. Like, and I can make a difference. Nobody needed to know who I was. I can go on with my merry life, right? And behind the scenes of my day, it was this is how it typically would look like when a CEO who's selling billions, you know, online faces challenges and is stuck. I get a call to find the energetic blockages and remove them. When a celebrity is going through a meltdown because of a breakup and they just can't seem to get it together, right? Whether it's uh, in their career or and, or, their, or, or their life, and they, because they can't attract the right kind of you know man or person in their life, I'm the one to get the call so I can find energetic root, root, root and cause and address it and help them get stable again. When a husband is about to pull the trigger and end his life, I'm the one that gets the call to come in and intervene. When a woman has been on dozens of different medications for years and has debilitating panic attacks just going to the grocery, I get the call so I can fix it. When a child is extra sensitive to energy and no doctor, nobody can explain what it is and they're displaying spiritual gifts at a very, very young age, I get the call to help them understand what their gifts are, to help them cultivate it and to get it under control. I, I'm, I get that call typically. And you know what, my days, they were always exciting and I got to meet and help people from all walks of life. It required a, all of me to be able to do that. And you know, you're probably thinking, you know, but Cui and Nino, it's all fine and dandy, but this seems like it's straight out of the movie. Maybe you just got lucky and that's just not the case for most of us. And you know what, the truth is, it's not unicorns and rainbows, far from it. You know, I mean, I could go on and on and on with the sob story, but like I've been to the dark, darkest and, and depths of, 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 of sadness and despair in my own life and struggles. Like the one time where my business partner ran away with the business, all my clients and most of my employees pulling the rug underneath my feet, leading me to deal with all the customers having no resources left. Yep, and that's that was difficult for me, especially like you know, since I'm the type of person that I I love I love on people. I want to make sure that people get the best that they can in life and for them to look at me and with pretty much hate thinking that it's me back then I didn't know how to speak my truth and say it's my business partner so I took the brunt of it like you know and I take accountability for it but that happened actually more than once right to where people did that and you know what it was a great learning lesson for me or the times when it was like you know I never even thought I would share this where my because of that like you know Cars got repossessed four different times. Bank accounts, you know, being shut down because uh, they were like o- overdone at least 12 times a month and, you know, led to me filing bankruptcy. And this was years of depression um, that I that I actually experienced. It was just very, very dark energetically for me and uh, in my life. And throwing divorce into the mix as well, right? And on top of that, during that period, because since that was the vibration and energy that I was in, I was attracting relationships that were toxic to my soul. Worse, and it's probably the worst of it all, worst of it all, is because of all this, I shut down my gifts. I shut down my light. And I just shut down my light and love. I lost myself. Who I was as that kid who was born, you know, with, with a divine purpose, born with gifts, shut it down. I didn't think I was good enough. I think the world was out there to get me and I was just I haven't had enough. So I shut it down. That's probably the worst thing that I've done that I've done. And anybody could do is shut off their own light and love. It could go on and on and on. Right? It was bottom line, it was the darkest time of my life. And I just wanted to hide under the covers and disappear. If I didn't wake up the next day, it would have been totally fine. <laughs> like you know, that was that's where I was. And the truth is, what I'm about you know, what I'm about to share with you and what I've shared with you so far. Mastering my energy, the eight spiritual senses, and the five healing steps, they saved my life. Gave me a second chance, a start over, but in life. You know, a do over. And you know, here's how it all started actually. It's a funny story. 
the words that I will never forget. You have something special inside of you. I'll never forget those words. It was a flashback in uh, 2008. And I don't know how she found me, but she did. She was a psychic to the stars in Hollywood. You know, countless A-list celebrities used her for readings and spiritual advice. And there was a long pause of what felt like years of awkward silence. And she looked at me and said, you have something special inside of you. You're going to change millions of lives. You need to go to Sedona as soon as you can. Sedona has the key. Stop hiding. Go to Sedona. I was like, you know, that was the conversation. And a few weeks later, I found myself in Sedona. And what happened next changed my life forever. That's me on the rock, by the way. I was meditating on top of a vortex. It really is me. Uh, and it's scary. It's an hour climb to the top, and I'm afraid of heights. And this, if you fall here, <laughs> there's, there's no going back, right? But that was me. And you might be asking, you know, Queen and Nino, what is a vortex? A vortex is a powerful and transformational energy center. They are intersections of natural electromagnetic earth energy, also known as ley lines. And they have a lot of them in Sedona. And so when I was here, I remember all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I started getting these images in my head, flashing quickly while my eyes were closed. Pyramids, spheres, spirals, sacred geometry symbols and shapes that I've never seen before. And sacred geometry can be found everywhere. It's around you, it's inside of you, and it's also even been called by a lot of people the language of God because it's just everywhere in, uh, in, in nature, right? So from the spirals of the double helix DNA in your body to the hemoglobin in our blood that is shaped as an octahedron, which is two pyramids back to back, to the great pyramids in Egypt, to the crop circles in Europe, to the designs of religious structures and such as churches or mosques and temples, and even the spiral nature of galaxies in our universe, you know, sacred geometry is everywhere. It's inside of you, it's also everywhere around you. And since it's a major part of all living things and a big part of creation, it's also been called the language of God. But there's more. Sacred geometry is more than just shapes. In fact, you'd be surprised to learn that. But sacred geometry, it's the key to activating or reactivating your own gifts and unlocking healing on a completely different level, all right? So there are many forms of sacred geometry, and one of my favorite examples is the pyramid structure. In Asian times, pyramids were used for preservation. They were used to de dehydrate and mummify things without decay or mold growing. Like That's all in, in uh, um, history books. And nowadays, pyramids are used for much more because they discovered the actual power of the sacred geometry so they use it for a lot more stuff nowadays. For example, a researcher named Bill Carroll experimented with pyramids for about 17 years. He did a lot of experiments using brine shrimp. And brine shrimp usually live for six to seven weeks, but under the pyramids, Bill has kept them alive for over a year. He also noticed that pyramid um, grown shrimp grew two to three times larger than normal. That's crazy, huh? There's more. I also read an article about a Canadian hospital trying to use a pyramid in their burn ward and the results were that after being under the pyramid for a few minutes the patient's pain started to reduce they also found that burn areas healed much faster and that's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to sacred geometry and what it can do and little did i know sacred geometry would do the unthinkable to me right so something happened to me that day that i was up in the vortex next thing you know it was crazy i started seeing people's energetic fields I would all of a sudden just know things before they even happened, predictably and consistently. If somebody was going through something, I knew it because I felt everything they felt and more. I could look at their bodies and just know where all the energetic blocks are. I know what caused them um, recurring pain in their life. I just knew where the source was. I could see and access their karma and all the energetic blocks. I don't know how this happened, but it was overwhelming at first, but I just knew it. I just had access to all of it. All the negative energy that's trapped in the organs, energetic fields, aura, chakra, cellular level, and more. And for some weird reason, I knew how to fix it all. I had information downloaded in me that I didn't have before, and I was able to do things that I've never done before either. I felt like Neo straight out of the Matrix. First, you know, when I had all this information, I was kind of nervous to 
to share with other people. So I started working on myself at first, removing all the energy blocks I saw within me. And boy, did my life change quickly. My business income, which my businesses have typically nothing to do with energy work, is complete, literally left, logical left field consulting and, uh, and speaking and events, jumped dramatically out of the blue, right? And when I started getting into energy work and mastering it, and I started getting featured for my success on Entrepreneur Magazine, Inc., Forbes, right? And met a ton of cool people along the way as well. Celebrities, like, you know, um, business leaders, actors, like, you know, uh, uh, influencers and uh, world changers. I met all of them. Um, they, they were attracted to me and my line of work for some reason. And the more I focus on my energy, the higher the caliber of people I attracted into my life. I even manifested into my life the love of my life. Um, which is, I wrote down everything I, I could have ever wanted, wanted in, a, uh, in, a, in a partner long list and to deliver to me, like, you know, um, the moment I figured the, the energy thing out and really dedicated dedicated um, to practicing it, it happened within a few short weeks of me doing that, right? One of my favorites is starting a philanthropic initiative to spread love and light and joy to those who need it the most. That's one of the most memorable things and one of my proudest moments is, is starting uh, and co-founding this um, initiative. And now that I'm at the end of the tunnel on the other side, the least I can do is pay it forward and share the same sacred knowledge I've been blessed with with you. So now, let me go over the eight psychic spiritual senses. And these are important, okay? And here's why they're important. Our five senses, sight, hear, taste, smell, and touch, help us make sense of the physical world we live in. And our eight psychic or spiritual senses help us make sense of the energetic world we live in as well. It's our guiding force, it's our GPS system, it's our intuition. And this will explain why you've experienced the things you've experienced and will give you an insight on who you truly are. So these are the eight psychic and spiritual senses, okay? So today I'm gonna to go over the eight spiritual senses. And it's really important to understanding your spiritual nature and also your unconscious intuitive abilities. A lot of the times, a lot of problems come when you don't know why you're feeling the way you're feeling. Like, ended up shifting limiting beliefs that aren't even yours, or feelings that aren't even yours. You pick it up from somebody else, you think it's yours, and you, you beat yourself up for, for feeling that, but the reality is it wasn't even yours to begin with. So a lot of times, things happen like that. And you realize it's not your feeling, it's someone else's, and then you can address it, right? So the, one of the first, um, spiritual senses that I'm going to go over is that clear cognizance and this is what's called clear knowing that's the first psychic spiritual sense and this is something that a lot of people have and I have it as well and the way it works is you just know stuff without having any external information you weren't given facts you weren't given visual cues and feedback you just know and the frustrating thing is that it's right most of the time and when you're connected and it's not coming from ego or programming at all you're just right and it's frustrating because you can't prove it, you can't explain it. People ask you, how do you know? But you just know. And you can't quantify or explain how you know. And by the way, you can have a mixture of these different um, spiritual senses, not just one, right? You can have a mixture of each, and that's what makes it so unique. And when people go to my uh, Geo Love Healing and Activation Workshops that I do in Sedona a few times a year, we go through the room to discover people's unique combination of gifts and what's funny is no two people are the same. It's different. And there's no one, one size fits all when it comes to gifts. Everything is very tailored to who you are. And the truth is we come in as unique spiritual beings. Even if you have twins that come in you know, a minute apart in the role, they, they're different. They have their unique physical and biochemical blueprints. It's their own uniqueness to them. But it also means everybody has a unique spiritual energetic blueprint that's unique to you. And there's no one size fits all. And if you're studying someone who's famous or a thought leader in this, and you're like, wow, like, you know, this sucks, I'm not like them, or this just doesn't work for me, don't beat yourself up because everybody's unique. And a lot of the journey is finding what works for you. One of the biggest things that I have to come to understand is that there's no wrong or right way of doing things. It's what's right for you in this moment. And in this world that we live in, there's so much division of like, my religion is better than yours, or this group is better than yours, or my thought process is better than yours. But the reality is, kind of like you're trying to get to a destination and you have different cars. 
no car is wrong it's like just whatever car gets you there it gets you there and everybody has different types of cars that they want and everything works you can you know you can take a bike you can take a car you can take a jet you can walk it doesn't matter if it gets you from point a to b you still get there the vehicle is just different and that's the same thing as everybody in this world they have their own spiritual features and they have their own vehicles which are the same getting you to where you want to go so you just got to figure out what works for you remember it's all about finding your authentic self and getting back to your purpose work so you can get to your destination and do what you came here to do and nothing's wrong everything is right so a lot of it is thinking what's right for you and if it, one doesn't resonate that's cool there's always other vehicles and methods and other teachers and experiences that you can take advantage of in this lifetime and you have to be okay with that that it's okay to use all of them or some of them combine some of them and benefit from a lot of them you can do that right so it's a little bit rand over there but just, i felt like you needed to hear that clairvoyance the second psychic sense is clairvoyance and each of these psychic senses have different levels so you can have you can always activate more levels and it can come different ways shapes and forms and it's okay so with clairvoyance Sometimes it's clear vision. You see and you see with your third eye. Sometimes it's in dream form. You have very, very vivid dreams. Sometimes it's astral traveling. Um, there's another example. Sometimes it's during the day, you just have images that are coming to you in pictures or in movie reel form. Sometimes it's information like, you know, um, through what you see through auras and colors and chakras or light glowing around people. You just know. So clairvoyance is one of them, okay? That's how it works. And some of the times you can see with your physical eyes, like you, know, you can see spirits or energies. And that's another example, but there's so many different forms of this. I mean, sometimes you can just see it with your um, with your just third eye in your imagination. Sometimes you can see it with your actual physical eyes. And this can go way, way more advanced, but this is some of the basic ones when it comes to clairvoyance, okay? So clairvoyance is clear seeing. And a lot of times people that have this, they have so much fear around this stuff that instead of understanding that this is something they can have control over, they can have parameters, you can have rules around it. Right now, if you're not aware of this stuff, it's a car that drives itself. Like you don't even know it's driving itself. And there's a lot of skills and things to learn so you can have control over your abilities. You might not even know that you have the ability or the gift. But once you get the skills and the understanding of this, you can be in the driver's seat. You can figure out when to accelerate, when to put the brakes on, and when to turn the car off and turn it on, and it's liberating. And a lot of it is realizing that just because you have these gifts doesn't mean they control you. True freedom comes from when you understand everything that you are as a spiritual being and you can have complete control over your gifts. Next is clear audience. The next Thing is clear hearing and this is when you are hearing stuff that people are thinking or a higher power is sending you a message I'll give you an example have you ever had a ringing in your ears all of a sudden it's like ringing uh, and it's like buzzing that's one of them sometimes you're you're uh, it's because someone's thinking of you intensely and you're and sometimes it's um, a higher power or God giving you a sign or a message or maybe sometimes it's somebody talking about uh, uh, you or you're talking about something that you're not supposed to talk to or you're supposed to pay attention to all of a sudden your ears start ringing so a lot of it it's it's dependent on a situation but ears ringing is one of them and something that you really need to pay attention to let's say you know um, the universe is giving you a sign right and i'll give you an example usually your ears will ring for example let's say um let's say you um all of a sudden you're driving right you're driving and in your head, or you hear something like, exit, take this exit, and you're like, why? But you just follow it, and then you come in late. But then you realize later that the other path that you, you normally would take, there was an accident. It would have delayed you, or worse, it could have been you, right? So it's the voice of the universe, the voice of God, or a higher guidance guiding you. That is clear audience. That's another one. It's just like you just hear the guidance. Clear sentience is another one. So, for example, my grandmother, when I was younger, passed away. I had two grandmothers. One had a very distinct perfume, and another one had flowers that she loved and always had around. And I remember there were times when it was their anniversary, their death anniversaries, 
and or some random times when I'm missing them, I could smell the perfume or the flowers in the house when there there was none. That's another way of getting messages or communications from the spiritual world is killer sentience, is clear smelling. Okay, that's what it is. And there's also clear gustance. And this is something that people like legitimately taste things that are not there. And you can see that sometimes you have homicide detectives when they're going to crime scenes and they taste the actual drug in their mouth. They get a distinct taste of what the drug is only to be confirmed later by the lab that their quote-unquote guess of what it was was accurate. And sometimes it can happen with food and different things. But this is another spiritual slash psychic sense and ability that you might have. So that's a pretty cool thing. Then you have clear empathy. Clear empathy is clear emotional feeling. This is not to be confused with clear sentience, which I'm going to go over in a second. This is when you walk into a room and you can just sense what people are feeling. Like you don't actually physically feel it in your body, but you can sense it. And sometimes it can get confusing because you might think that the feeling is yours when in reality it's someone else's, right? And some people are more sensitive or as their frequency rises up, they're able to house more to where it, instead of just being able to feel the room, they can feel the entire city or sometimes they can they can be remotely to where somebody's thinking about them and they can just sense the feeling from from far away so that's clear empathy and sometimes it's like really random middle of the day like i'm feeling anxious or i'm, or I'm excited and i normally know who who that typically is who feels that way and within 10 minutes i get a call or text from that sack person i was thinking of that has that those same emotions so that happens a lot and when it happens to you, or if it happens to you, pay attention so you actually have a confirmation on it. That is one. It's like a spiritual text message. So with clear empathy, you get clear emotional feeling. Then you have clear sentience. And clear sentience means clear physical feelings. Right? And this this throws you in a loop because you actually feel the emotion in your body. And this happened to me earlier than I can even remember. It can be different things. And I saw this in my last workshop in Stona. I would walk into a room and all of a sudden for you know for for a few days my left shoulder started hurting later on we found out that there were two people in the room who had left shoulder pains so I tend to do that especially when I'm doing a lot of energy work and I'm coming up and I'm opening up intuitively to people's energy as I tend and it's cool because it, it, it gives me feedback so I feel everybody and when I feel them I know how to help them and that's one example of it is I just feel everything from emotions to what people are feeling and if they have body aches and the cool thing is by the end of that workshop those people they had no shoulder pain and mine disappeared and that's how we figured it out I was like wow They're, I was like I don't have any more shoulder pain and two people were like we did and it's gone too and I was like oh I probably was feeling yours and that's how that came about but I also feel emotions so if somebody is feeling anger or depression I'd feel it like I would literally feel the emotion in my body and it took me a, a while to realize that somebody else's and not mine and that I can be protected from it. I can clear it. But sometimes it's also important to know that because if you know that, then you know how to help somebody because you can feel it in your body and it guides you to serve them on a deeper level. But a lot of it is knowing when to turn it on, when to turn it off, how to regulate it and not be debilitated by it. Okay? Sometimes when things get really intense and you experience huge emotional swings, you might think that you're just crazy or even ask yourself, why am I bipolar? Or why am I one day feeling great and, the one, and one day I feel like I'm in the bottom? And a lot of the time people medicate to shut it off and they don't realize it's actually a gift. You just didn't know because how could you? There's no handbook. They don't teach you that in school. And it's something that you kind of like have to journey on and find out by yourself by yourself through experience of things like these you know so that's one of the things that i have which I, is really really can be intense but also very useful and it's also clear tangency this is the last one and we'll do a quick recap okay so first you had clear empathy which is clear emotional feelings that we've talked about uh, so you can sense what they're feeling you also had clear sentience which is clear physical feeling to where you manifest the actual in your body temporarily what people feel in their body joints or whatever's aching and emotions you feel it and then and then we talked about um like clairvoyance claircognizance and um we talked about that and then did not right this one brings us to clear tangency this is where you could touch objects 
or be in close proximity to people and you just know facts about them. Memories, facts, um, and it's, it's, it can be pretty intense. If you don't know what's going on, you're just like, whoa, why is there an overwhelming amount of information flooding in through my mind right now? So there you have it. Those are the eight psychic senses and the five steps you can use to remove deeply rooted energetic blocks that are secretly stopping you from experiencing more abundance, happiness, peace, and success in your life. I can spend weeks talking about this as there's so much more amazing information to share, but hopefully what I shared today gets you started and aware of what goes on in your energetic system. Awareness is the first step. Once you are aware, then you can do something about it and take action. Information is not power, it is potential power. Taking action is what creates the results. So my question is this, do you want to become your own healer and master your energy? Do you want to understand exactly how to activate your natural healing abilities? Would you like to learn the specific how-to when it comes to the five steps to healing yourself so you can confidently remove the negative energy blocks that are preventing you from living the life you've always wanted? Want me to walk you through how you can apply all of these concepts in your life over the next 30 days? Would your life change if you had all the tools to become your own healer? If so, I want to talk about and invite you to my authentic energy program. It's 30 days to unlocking your natural healing abilities, activating your intuition, and becoming your own healer. And here's why I created this program. You know, you brush your teeth daily, you eat daily, you drink water daily, and this takes care of your physical health. But what about your energetic health? Things happen on a daily basis. And in order to give yourself the best chance at succeeding and experiencing all the abundance that life has to offer, you need to take care of your energetic health daily. You need to learn how to become your own healer so you can feel good any place, anywhere, at any time. This empowers you so things don't have to happen to you, they can start happening for you. And what makes this program different is it's designed to empower you. Instead, I, mean, I have nothing against going out there and getting energetic healing or treatment from other people. I'm area like, you know, that if that option is there, we should be able to take advantage of it. But it's also good to know these things, the skills, so you can do it for yourself when others aren't there to do it for you. So you're empowered, right? It's something that you can learn from home. You don't have to go to Sedona on my four year retreats to learn this. I made this information so you can learn from the comfort and luxury of your own home and you can do it at your own pace. Start whenever you want, rewatch it as many times as you want, do it at your own pace. And this doesn't use your own energy. A lot of energy healing modalities out there teach you to use your own body, your own energy. But this, since we're connected to God, to source, to a higher power, we're just merely a vessel and merely tools to where this energy can run through us and help facilitate healing. So we're not using our energy, we're being guided and powered by a higher power. And that's what makes it different. Then you can learn quickly. I mean, it's one of the things that um, I've taught people. I've talked to people in, in in a few hours or a day, and you can pick this up pretty quickly. So it's something that doesn't take months or years to master. This we work on the root, not the fruit. So the roots and the seeds, they, they grow like you know, they grow the branches, they grow the fruit, and a lot of people address the branches and the fruit. And the thing is, there's going to be more fruits and more branches. But we go directly to where it all started. We work on the root and the seeds so that things that happen don't need to happen at all because we've worked on it at such a, f a fundamental root level that things that normally would happen don't happen at all and things that need to be fixed get fixed once and for all and when you make that one simple fix it fixes a thousand other things because you fixed that leverage point of where it all started. This is not this energy program um, that you're gonna learn to, it works well with other methods if you're ready into um, a lot of energy um, healing stuff. It actually helps uh, accelerate and amplify other things that, you're, that you might be learning as well. It is based on love. This is, the whole thing that makes this work is we are, we are grounded and powered by love. So we are on that vibration. So when we're facilitating any kind of healing experience, love is the foundation. Love is the background. Love is the fuel. And then that frequency, like, they say you can't put fire out with fire, you have to use water. You can't put out hate or fear or negative energy by fear, hate, and negative energy. We use love for that. And that, in my experience, and over 10 years of doing that, has been 
the biggest factor in really removing the deepest energetic wounds and toxins that we absorb and be able to do it um, quickly and successfully is it being grounded and based and fueled and powered by love and again this is powered by source not you and a lot of it is also in intuitive um, healing as you're doing this it, it, it activates your intuition so as you're removing the energetic blocks from yourself or from others your intuition gets turned on the way we do this to where you get messages and realize why things occurred the way they occurred where's the source and all that good stuff so it also activates your intuition as you do this why 30 days so you can have all the knowledge and tools you need to remove energy blocks and gain mental and emotional clarity leading you to experiencing more abundance in your life we want i want to make sure you you're equipped with everything those stones left unturned you got everything you need and what you're going to learn in this 30 day uh, journey is how to tap into abundant energy so you can manifest what you want in life quicker and more predictably you're going to learn how to activate your hands uh your hands what i call scanning ability so you can feel energy and you can discover where you have energetic blocks within your own system you're going to learn proven ways to remove negative energy that's trapped in your body you're going to learn how to restore your body's natural life force energy so you heal faster physically, emotionally, and mentally. You're gonna learn the quick 60 second method for clearing your energy that works every single time. Works for anxiety, fear, negativity, overwhelm, etc. You're gonna learn how to handle the negative environment and people in your life. And you're also gonna learn how to activate your intuition. My training program will take you by the hand and help you master energy healing over the next 30 days. And by now, you already know that you can't escape the fact that everything is energy and energy affects everything in your life. And that consciously letting these laws work for you through authentic energy versus just letting with a flow directionless is your best bet to unlocking success, abundance, wellness, peace of mind, joy, and fulfillment in life that you desire. So if you want to get rid of the negative energy that's trapped inside of you, that's holding you back, and sabotaging your success, if you want to reconnect to your authentic energy so you can unlock your passion, your calling, your purpose, and ultimately the life you want, if you're still stuck with experiencing overwhelm, confusion, anxiety, sadness, stress, and lower level vibes, and you want to let go of them so you can start living the life of your dreams, if you want to claim the abundance, the extraordinary experiences, and the genuine happiness really destined for you, and if you want to properly channel your energy towards what matters most and go from surviving to thriving, and if you want life results that allow you to give back to the world and make a difference, then this is for you. Here's how we'll do it. Here's the overview of the Authentic Energy Program. We're gonna go over the foundations for healing. It's very important. You're gonna learn the daily energy clearing practices Right? daily energy clearing and protection practices. I'm going to teach you that. You're going to learn how to remove deep energy blocks within you. And you're going to also learn advanced energy management. Like how do you bring this all together? Uh, how do you do things quicker? How do you do things more powerful? Like, you know, just that advanced energy stuff that I've learned over the last 10 years. I'm going to share that with you as well. So here's what you, you know, a small sample of what you'll learn in this program. You're going to discover your unique spiritual gifts, how to activate them, how to use them to heal yourself and others. You're gonna learn how to turn on your intuition using a simple technique called scanning. Everybody has the ability to tune into their own intuition. It's easy once you know how. You're gonna learn how to feel energy. Everyone can feel energy. Once you do, then you'll have more awareness and understanding of the invisible thing that control, controls everything. You're gonna learn how to use sacred light and colors to cleanse, energize, and heal. Very few people know the power of this specific technique. Once you learn it, you can go from trained and feeling down to energized, vibrant, and happy in as little as one minute. You're going to learn how to use sacred breathing to access higher levels of consciousness. Did you know that there's a specific way for you to access higher levels of healing, which is breathing? I'll show you the specific formula for doing this. You're going to learn how to cut energetic cords and clear yourself. Did you know that people have the ability to affect you? You are an energetic being and people can attach energetic cords to your energetic body without meaning to. When that happens, you feel exactly how they feel. Their fears become yours. 
I'll show you how to get rid of these cords so others can't affect you anymore. And you'll learn three powerful types of sacred geometry you should use in all your healings. These are just, the, there are dozens of sacred geometry symbols I personally use. During this um, training, we'll focus on the three basic but extremely powerful ones you'll need. It's the foundation of everything that I do. You're gonna learn how to look for negative energies within the chakras. Your chakras affect you in your daily quality of life more than you realize. I'll show you how to discover which of your chakras are carrying negative energy and what to do about it. I'm gonna show you, you know, and guide you to spiritual sanitation. You'll discover exactly what you should be doing before and after all healing sessions to make sure you are protected from all negative energies that are released during the healing. You're gonna learn the three proven steps to removing negative energy. When negative energy is stuck in your body, it must be removed. There's three steps to removing it and a total of five steps for the entire system. But the removal part is three steps and it's guaranteed to remove the negative energy no matter how old it is, right? And um, you're gonna learn how to create a vortex or shields to protect yourself and others. Did you know you can protect yourself from negative energies from other people? It's easy when you know how to create this vortex and shield, right? The specific method to do it, and I'll show you in this program. You're gonna learn how to balance your chakras. Sometimes you struggle during your day because some of your chakras might not be balanced. Someone one's big, another's not, and it just pretty much it's kind of like having a chair with one leg being way too long and the other three being short. It's just tip off of balance, and you can't really use it. It can sometimes cause headaches, nausea, or feeling of disconnection or overwhelm when they're either too big or too small. You'll learn exactly how to, to balance them and also how to re-energize them so you're operating perfectly throughout your day. You're gonna learn how to clear your aura and your energetic field. Your energetic field can be anywhere from a few feet in front of you all the way to 15 to 20 feet around you. Throughout your day, you can pick up and absorb negative energies from people and places that you visit. You're gonna learn how to clear all that energy from your aura and energetic field so you end the day feeling rejuvenated, vibrant, happy, and in your own energy, and much more, okay? You're getting the exact process that I use to turn my life around by being able to remove my energetic blocks. And when you're first learning how to master your energy, you need consistent daily reinforcement so you can learn the skills effectively and develop the habit so it becomes second nature. That's why you'll be getting a video from me every single day for the next 30 days to make sure you build the energy healing habits needed for you to start experiencing the quality of life you truly deserve. And you'll be a part of my authentic energy Facebook family so you can connect with like-minded people and get the support you need as well, okay? So you'll meet people on the same journey as you so you don't feel alone during this transformational time in your life. Authentic energy is a transformative journey that gives you all the tools and techniques for unlocking your natural healing ability so you can experience the life you've always wanted. And the question you're probably asking is, Kuya Nino, how much is this going to cost me? Right? Here are pictures of some of my workshops that I've done uh, and where people flew in from all over the world. It was a four-day um, workshop. They flew in, so they paid for their tickets, they paid for their hotel, they paid for their accommodations and their food and transportation. And they paid $2,100 um, for the uh, this experience and you're getting the same the exact same information That they learned in this workshop. You're getting it in this next 30 days delivered to you You know and you can learn from it from the comfort of your own home at your own pace And you can master the same things that they master without traveling without all that cost, right? Here's what you get when you enroll today. You get lifetime access to to the four-week in-depth training on activating your healing abilities. You'll get one video per day for the next four weeks. You'll learn the same principles I learned in my 10-year journey of mastering energy for healing, protection, abundance, and purpose work. The value of this is $4.99. You'll get my personal routines that I do daily that gets me the right vibration and energy to accomplish anything that I want. You get lifetime access to the authentic energy Facebook family. The value is $9.99. You get daily guidance videos and audio coaching from me for four weeks. Okay, and you get your questions and answered by me. You'll be getting a recording of a Q&A session every single week for the first month. And I've 
gathered all the most common questions people have with each week's training. I've recorded a live Q&A for it, and you get the recorded version of that for the first month. The value is $199. You get community support and group mastermind with a loving and supportive group of like-minded healers. Value of this is $199. And of course, an unconditional seven-day money-back guarantee after the start of the program so you can be sure that this course is perfect fit for you with no risk on your part. Okay, and the program starts immediately and you'll get immediate access to the training when you sign up now. Right? The total value of all of this stuff is $1,896. And I wanted this 30-day program to be more affordable so I can help more people. So on this webinar that you're watching right now, you say $15.97. So it's just one payment of $2.99 or three installments of $117. Okay, so go ahead and click Add to Cart button that you see on this page to get started. If it doesn't show up, use the website that you see below. Right? Use that website if it doesn't show up. Yes, that's just nine dollars and 96 cents per day for the next 30 days to learn how to remove all the energetic blocks stopping you from having the life you truly desire and okay? or that's if you want to break it down if you're, you're doing the payment plan options it's three dollars and 90 cents per day that's less than a cup of you know cafe latte at your favorite coffee shop right and don't forget you're protected by my hundred percent satisfaction guarantee that is test drive the first seven days of the program. Try it out, try out what you learn, put it to the test. If for any reason you're not happy, let me know before the seven days are up and we'll give you a full refund. It gets even better than that. When you finish the 30 day program, you'll get access to two bonus programs for free. Bonus program number one is the Chakra Mastery. I'm gonna be releasing at the end of the 30 days, Chakra Mastery a bonus set of videos that goes over in depth on each chakra, what are the problems that come with, you know, that get trapped and the energies and the issues that normally come with it, different ways of clearing them, and, and, uh, and just really giving you the confidence to know everything there is to know about chakras. I'm gonna be revealing advanced chakras that, uh, that I didn't reveal or that are not common knowledge, the advanced ones that, that uh, really, um, the, the advanced ones are where most of the deepest hidden traumas are, energetic traumas are located, but nobody, nobody knows to look in those areas. So I'm gonna reveal that in the Chakra Mastery um, bonus, right? And another one we have is Interview with Healers. And this is where I bring on board people who used to be in your shoes, who, who went through my workshops, who are now healers, and who have actually worked with people. And I'm, I'm gonna pick their brains on, hey, what's working for you? Like, you know, what's your story? Like, you know, what are some of the uh, uh, experiences you've had? What are some of the results that you've had? So you can learn from multiple perspectives. And some of them have might, like, you know, I've figured out different techniques that have evolved from what I've taught them. And, they, and they'll share that with you as well. And this is just to give you uh, an example of what's possible and more tools in your belt of what you can actually uh, practice as a healer. So this is another bonus I want to throw in there because I want to make sure that when, when you do this, we're doing it right to where you're surrounded by a loving community of people who are doing this, who are eat, live, breathe, uh, energy, healing, and mastery, and you can learn from them. I want you to be able to absorb that like a sponge so you can use that in your own life. So let's recap. You get one video from me every single day for the next 30 days. You get access to my authentic energy Facebook family. You get my chakra mastery program in 30 days. You get my interview with healers video series in 30 days. You get to try the Authentic Energy Program risk-free for seven days. And if for any reason you're not happy, simply let me know before the seven days are up and I'll give you a full refund. And you will save $15.97 off the regular price when you sign up on this webinar, right? So go ahead, click Add to Cart button that you see on this page to get started. If that doesn't show up, there's a website below. Just type that in manually. It should take you to the checkout page. Okay, and here are some questions that you might that I'm gonna answer that you might have, right? Do you guarantee it will work for me? In my experience, everyone that has ever been to my workshop that has learned this information and has taken action, it's worked for them. They've been able to feel energy, they've been able to activate their, their gifts, they've been able to use it to feel better on themselves and for other people. And the only way that this will not work for you is if you don't try it. So my guarantee is if you 
learn this and if you give it a fair shot and try it, if you decide today and take action and empower yourself to learn this so you're not stuck where you are and you can move forward and you give it a fair shot and you implement everything that I teach you, it will work because historically it has worked for people that I've shared this with. So if you do that, there's no doubt in my mind and there's no risk involved because you have a seven day trial so you can you, you can uh, you, you can see the content for you know the first seven days and see see if it resonates for you or not but in my experience everybody that's learned this that i've shared this with their life today is radically different than it was before they've learned what i've shared with them it's a very different life uh, in, in their in their words it's a better life so do i guarantee it will work for you it will when you take action on it and the first step is going to the website Checking this out, trying the 30 day program out, and giving yourself this gift, right? And and it, you know, this is something that you, you manifest into your life. The fact that you're in this webinar, you are, it's not by chance that you're in watching this webinar, that out of all the thousands or hundreds of thousands of ads that you could have seen, or videos that you could have seen, or posts you could have seen on your phone or your computer, this is what you've land, landed on on your on your lap and you clicked on it and you registered for the webinar and you've gotten this far obviously it's something that resonates with you on some level and i urge you to give it a shot another one is how does this program work it's pretty simple you you enroll for the program you get login access you get a video a day for the next 30 days those videos are lessons tips techniques exact step-by-step -step procedures of how i do things and all the tools and techniques you need to master to get a basic mastery of energy apply it in your own life try it out and see the results for yourself and uh, during those uh, 30 days every single week I'm gonna be releasing a recorded live Q&A where I have gathered all the common questions that people normally have with each week's lessons I answer them and I send them off to you so you can use that as well to to get more clarity with questions that you have in the program and you also have the Facebook group, Facebook family, where you can sign on in there and literally get loved on and supported by everyone in the same journey as you. Some of them are beginners, some of them are advanced healers that have gone through my program, but they all have this, you know, one goal and purpose in mind is to, we're all here to support and help the world heal. In order to do that, we have to heal ourselves. And that's why we're learning, um, you know, we're, we're, we're learning um, how to do that with this specific methodology. I want to teach you that, all right? Another question is, do I still have access to this program after the course is over? Do I have lifetime access? The answer is yes. Once you, unlike other programs to where, like, you know, they pay and it's, they get access for 30 days or a year. This one is a lifetime access. You enroll today, you get access to this information for life. It's yours. How much time do I need to just dedicate to this daily the videos are anywhere from four to ten minutes some are longer 15 minutes to um or more um but so you spend so allocate some time to watch the videos and then the actual practice of it um can be um you know five to ten minutes a day um, once you're you're actually practicing this stuff it depends if you have a tougher day of course you do more but like you know it's 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 kind of like brushing your teeth and, and eating it becomes second nature to where it will come a point to where you might not even need to do this or you forget to do this because there's no negative energy that you feel and your life is perfect and we've had people like that they were like you know what i haven't had to do energy clearing in in in, in months and i just realized that the same issues that i had back then when i first started out they aren't there anymore so it does get to that that point and i want to equip, equip you the tools to get you there and it all starts here at this point right now um, so yeah, um, whatever, depending on um, what's going on in your life, it will dictate how often and how much you need to do it. But it can be as little as 5 to 15 minutes a day for the videos. And then the application of it is like, you know, 5 to 10 minutes um, daily or as needed. Can I complete this course at my own pace? Yes, there's no rush. Um, you can rewatch it. We have people that have gone through our courses two, three, four, five times. Go as many times, go over it as many times as you want. And, and watch as often as you want. Again, it's complete control is in your hands with, with our program, right? Because the truth is this, okay? And I'm gonna leave you with this thought. Truth is you were born perfect. But there's so much unnecessary pain and suffering in the world because people are not aware of their unique spiritual gifts. 
and how to manage their energetic system. Or worse, they dim or completely shut off their light, like I did, because they don't understand it and they're afraid to be judged by others. Us shutting off our light is like shutting off our spiritual GPS system and our intuition. It's also like us shutting off our energetic food and nutrition because we need that. And that's a huge reason why a lot of people get lost or stuck in life, running around in circles, but not really living to their full potential and not experiencing the full abundance and fulfillment that life has to offer. Right? You weren't born imperfect and helpless. It was quite the opposite. You were born perfect, equipped with all the spiritual knowledge, gifts, and tools you need to not only survive, but to thrive and make a lasting impact on the world. You came here as a gift to the world through your own unique expression of your divine wisdom. But somewhere along the way, you forgot that, you gave your power away, and relied purely on logic and your brain to survive. We shut off not only our light, but also our emotions and our gifts. But the magic in life and our purpose in life lies within our light, which most have forgotten about, and our hearts and not our heads. You are not alone in this. I've been down this path, and a lot of people that I've helped from all over the world have, have been too, and I know there's a better quality of life out there that's available waiting for you and waiting for all. And I'm here right now dedicating my life to empowering you and helping you get there. That's my life's purpose. My life's purpose is to help activate the lights in others, the light and love in others by helping them learn how to manage their gifts, their unique spiritual nature, their healing abilities to be able to activate that so that they're empowered and that mistakes from the past don't have to repeat themselves and situations that aren't favorable don't have to keep happening you can finally break free from that and start experiencing life that you were meant to experience one of happiness joy abundance freedom fulfillment inner peace success and true 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 potency of, of, of just pure joy that we were meant to experience in this life right and and, and my really my mission is to help get you there and if you have any more questions i didn't get to an answer go ahead and just type it in the question box uh, that you see on this page and i'll answer them soon all right so again um if this resonated with you at all and this made sense go ahead and, and click the add to cart button that you see on this page so you can get started it's an amazing program you won't regret it and and my hope is that you something you know, turned on within you in this presentation and I was able to turn on a switch of awareness of just knowing there's something better out there and it will be my truest truest honor to be able to serve you in this journey and to be the one to share this information with you and I, I truly hope that, that you do give me that honor to be able to serve you and again thank you so much for watching this this training it's a lot of information I love you I hope you shine your light and I hope you really choose to activate it because the world needs you and what you have inside of you. Everybody, we, we all have a purpose, we all have a message and that is, that it really lies within our light and I hope you decide to step into your light, embrace your power and do and be all that you're meant to be. Thank you for watching this webinar. Hopefully I'll see you in a training program. And as promised, if you stay till the end, you'll get an email of the rapid manifestation video that I mentioned earlier as a bonus. So check your inbox, it's gonna be there and wait for it. And again, if you haven't yet, hopefully join us in this program and I'll see you on the other side.